So hello everyone, let's discuss uh, the questions which you got in your dermatology. The first question was which of the following does not cause urethritis in a male patient? Now please remember this question is actually asking you that urethritis uh, which is usually due to the sexually transmitted disorders, they are of two types that is gonococcal urethritis and non-gonococcal urethritis. The gonococcal urethritis it occurs due to Neisseria gonorrhea, while non-gonococcal occurs due to the Chlamydia trichomatis, the Trichomonas vaginalis, Mycoplasma and Urea plasma. Please remember Haemophilus ducre, which is the option number one, it is the causative agent for the painful ulcers on the genitals with associated painful lymph node. There is no urethritis in the patient of Haemophilus ducre infection. So please remember the answer of this question is option number one. So, as I already discussed, we have two types of urethritis, but hemophilus ducre is not a cause. The second question is, we have an 18-year-old boy who has an asymptomatic dome-shaped small lesion on the forehead for the last two months. Now, let me just zoom this image for all of you. Can you see this? The lesions are dome-shaped and you look very carefully. There is an umbilication, there is a depression in the center. And when you see, there is a white cheesy material which comes out of it. Now, they are asking you that uh, this patient has a very similar complaint in one of the siblings also. What is the diagnosis? So, please remember a pearly papule with umbilication in the center. It is a diagnosis of molluscum contagiosum, which is a pox virus, which is a DNA virus. So, option number one becomes the correct answer for this question. So, as discussed, the presence of discrete pearly white dome shaped papule with umbilication. On pressing, there is a white cheesy material which comes out, and this indicates that it is the molluscum with infected keratinocytes and Henderson Peterson body. The next question is a young man presented with asymptomatic macule on the trunk, painless lesion on the glands, penis with generalized lymphadenopathy. What is the treatment of choice? Whenever you get a clinical case based question, it is very important for us to first make a diagnosis. Presence of asymptomatic macules and painless lesions on the genitals. Generalized lymphadenopathy, it is a diagnosis of secondary syphilis. For secondary syphilis, the treatment is benzathine penicillin. We give the injection intramuscularly in the dose of 2.4 million international unit. So the correct answer is option number 2. So this we have already discussed. The next question is, we have a 6-month-old infant who develops otitis media. After developing otitis media, the patient develops extensive peeling of the skin. There is no involvement of the mucosa. What will be the likely diagnosis? Please remember, if a patient has no cutic, no mucosal lesion and extensive peeling, this rules out the diagnosis of drug reaction because in drug reaction, involvement of mucosa is must. So option number one, toxic epidermal necrolysis and option number three, Stephen Johnson syndrome can easily be ruled out. Now, this is an infant with a history of otitis media. It means a staphylococcus infection leading to extensive peeling. This is known as staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome. Now, what happens? Staphylococcus releases an exfoliative toxin which goes and binds to desmoglein 1 causing the subcorneal cleft. The last question is given here. Identify the simple bedside procedure which is done in this picture. This is an example of a dioscopy test. Dioscopy is a very simple test. You just take a glass light, you press it on the surface of the skin. If you see the underlying skin is completely blanched, this indicates that it is a pure erythema. But if you see that there is incomplete blanching of the erythema, this indicates that the blood vessel is leaky and there is extra vessation of RBCs. So please remember, it's a very simple bedside test. So thank you all of you. Uh, I hope this was an interesting session for you.